It used to be you needed to go to a photographer to get a good picture, but now taking photos from a smartphone is easy and we photograph everything from our milestones to our meals and everything in between. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and how often do you actually get time to enjoy your photos? Too often, photos just gather digital dust on our smartphones and eat up the memory. Polaroid, though, has come up with a way they hope will entice you to print and share more photos. It's a smart gadget called Polaroid Lab that will turn your digital photos into real Polaroid pictures. I'm going to walk you through it, but an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what is Polaroid Lab? The lab is what Polaroid calls a private desktop darkroom. The idea behind Polaroid Lab is to take digital photos from your phone and turn them into tangible vintage Polaroid pictures. How you do it is a bit odd, but the overall effect is designed to use digital technology to create retro analog photography. You might think this machine is merely a printer, but what it actually is is a unique photo transfer machine that captures and scans the photos off your phone's screen and turns them into legitimate Polaroid photos. There's no wireless connection between your phone and the lab. It needs to be in physical contact with your phone for it to work. The Polaroid Lab here uses a three lens system to project the screen image from your phone, exposing it onto vintage style Polaroid film. And a unique chemical process then develops the image into a genuine Polaroid picture. A quick diversion. Some of you out there may be wondering exactly what Polaroid is. And that's a great question. Polaroid technology has been around since the 1930s, and it was a very tech-forward invention at that time because it allowed you to use a special camera, a Polaroid camera, that would capture and then print photos on the spot at a time when you used to need a professional darkroom or it could take a week or more to get your photo prints back from a special photo store. Polaroid film had this bold white edge that it still has and is still to this day very distinctive. Polaroid Lab only works with two types of Polaroid film, Polaroid 1 type and Polaroid 600 type. It comes in small packages of eight sheets. In case you're wondering, the new type 1 film is not compatible with vintage Polaroid cameras. You'll need to download the Polaroid Originals app. This device works only with this app. Because the device prints photos from your phone's screen, it works best if you remove any screen protectors or other films on the screen. Cracks and scratches, not surprisingly, may also influence your picture quality. To get started, remove the cover from the platform and turn the Polaroid Lab on by pressing the platform release button on the right side of the lab. The phone platform will automatically lift into the ready position. You'll also need to load the film if you've not done this already. Pull down on the film door in the bottom underneath the lab to open it and then remove the film from its foil packaging. Insert it into the back here with the dark side cover facing up and the instructions are all spelled out on the film package for you. You'll need to push it in until it kind of clicks, though for me it felt more like I was crushing it. As soon as I close the door, the machine spit out the cover sheet rather quickly. It'll come out under this strange black plastic sheet, and you've got to make damn sure not to pull that black cover off as it's actually part of the camera. Now head to the Polaroid Originals app and tap on the Polaroid Lab option. Follow the instructions on the app to select the picture you want to use. Wider photos just don't work and it seems like there's really no way to crop the photos or to adjust them or even to shift them in the frame. So choose wisely or pre-edit a photo in another app. Square photos tend to work best. Make sure to turn your phone's brightness up before getting started. And if you're an iPhone user, turn your True Tone off as well. The instructions insist you remove any type of case from your phone, and naturally I ignored that the first time because I thought the ultra-thin, slim, clear case I had on my iPhone 11 wouldn't be a hindrance. But after trying to get the photo to print a few times and nothing happened, I checked the troubleshooting guide. Since it seems like the case was the only impediment, I removed it, and sure enough, the photo was ready to print. You'll try to align the photo on the screen with the opening on top of the lab. Now the lights on the front will light up and you'll hear a little chime, which I don't know if you guys could hear when you're successful. When you do hear that chime, you are ready to hit the big red print button. Be careful not to pull off that black film shield and then you need about five or 10 minutes for the photos to develop. 
The big question I have about this device is why? If you've seen stuff about other instant photo printers, you may know you can just use an app and print your photos directly to the printer from your phone. No need to fuss with cases, screen covers, lenses, phone settings, and phone screens. The Polaroid Lab actually seems to be making printing out a photo more complicated. I guess the answer to why is that some folks really like that vintage Polaroid quality and you can't quite get it the same way without having something to expose, maybe? Even so, I think Polaroid might be banking on millennials knowing a lot more about original Polaroid film technology and wanting to recreate that than I think they actually will. I feel like those folks will just find the process lengthy, involved, and unnecessarily cumbersome. So what do the photos look like? I got both good and not so good results. The first couple of photos I printed were great, just like vintage Polaroids with their color wash haze, papery white borders, and the square shape that was around way before Instagram. The next couple were streaky and hazy, and it seemed like the film was almost scratched somehow. I also found that my pack of black and white film had blemishes on the corners, and the overall quality of these was pretty stark. Not artsy, just kind of harsh. So I, overall, I had some good prints and some definite duds. With the Polaroid Originals app, you can bring static pictures to life. The app can add augmented reality features to your pictures. So you choose a still photo, and then inside the Polaroid app here, you also choose a video that you'd like to embed in that photo, and you can make the video public or private. When the photo is exposed, there's a barcode embedded onto the photo, and then when you use the Polaroid AR viewer inside the app here and hold it over the photo, you can see the video. Now that is kind of neat. Except when I tried to do this, I'd say it only worked in about one in every three or four times. Sometimes the barcode showed up and sometimes it didn't. Now with the price of the film, that is an expensive glitch to try to reprint. Overall, I have mixed feelings about this device. On one hand, I really like the Polaroid film format, but I feel like this device unnecessarily complicates the printing process. While I had some good photos print out, I also had some duds. I also couldn't edit the photos in the Polaroid app, meaning I needed to crop or adjust anything I wanted to print in advance, which was an extra step. I think the AR abilities are neat, but the process seemed flawed and they didn't always work for me. Plus, this device is expensive and it's not very versatile in that it can only be used one way. You can't also print things out wirelessly with it. It sells for about 169 Canadian dollars, while a pack of film paper sets you back an astonishing $25 for eight sheets. That's just over $3 per photo. In short, while I get the nostalgia, I don't know if this device is the best way to get it, particularly when you can get some of those same Polaroid-style photos from other printers. If you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com, where I've posted the full blog, and you can ask me any questions you have about it, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.